Have you ever read in a magazine or watched a television program that had to do with the top albums, games, or movies list and thought, well, I don't know all the items on this list. I wonder if they're worth the shit. Well, that's what we're here for. We're taking the gargantuan list that is Rolling Stone Magazine's top 500 albums list created in 2003 and updated in 2012 and looking at every single album individually. On today's episode of Tackling the Top 500, we have our first live album. Live in Cook County Jail. By none other than B.B. King. If you don't know who B.B. King is... And you've been living under quite the oppressive rock. Ah, B.B. King. King of the blues. The man's a legend. His music has inspired many, and continues to do so even to this very day. On September 10th, 1970, B.B. King played a show in Chicago at Cook County Jail. The show was compiled into an album that was released in 1971 through MCA Records simply titled Live in Cook County Jail. B.B. King plays songs for the prisoners that were older and, at the time, relatively new. In between the songs, he speaks directly to his audience, telling jokes, but talking about great life values as well. With eight tracks, the album wraps itself into a 38-minute, 47-second blues package that brings his performance to the home of any B.B. King fan. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of information about this album out there, aside from reviews. It sucks because we really wanted to learn more about this album, but this really is all we could find. So, how do you feel about this album? Honestly, I love this album. Yeah, I really like it too. This album kind of blew me away. Like, usually, you know, when you go onto YouTube and you look up a live show, it tends to sound like shit. So, it kind of brought in, like, this false impression on me of, like, live stuff. So, uh, I didn't have, like, a good mindset going into this one. I was like, yeah. fuck, you know? Yeah, that's what I thought too, especially how old it is, I thought it was going to be like, kind of like crappy sound quality, but it actually has pretty good sound quality. Exactly. I mean, like, damn, I love this album. Yeah. It, it really just, it's it, impressive. Like, it really feels like you're at Cook County Jail listening to B.B. King. Yeah. And, like, just the songs on it he plays, you know, B.B. King has really good songs, like The Thrill Is Gone and Worry, Worry, Worry. Yeah. Yeah, and that... Especially that, that Worry Worry one. It's like, not only is he singing in that song, but he also talks about a bunch of other stuff that, like, I won't, I won't tell you here because I think it's, it's best to experience because it's yeah. funny, but it also means a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just, guy, like, damn. Yeah, and BB King's a pretty charismatic guy. I know, right? Like, he's really, he's really fun to listen to talk. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, really good live album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. Yeah, and I gotta say that so far, I mean, between the two albums, yeah, that we've listened to, so far, this one is my favorite. Same here. I'm a really big fan of the blues, so I naturally came to this one just like, you know, it's like oh I really like this because I'm a really big fan of the blues, so, you know. I kind of think I like this one better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's all I can really say about that at the moment. It's a good album. It's too bad we couldn't find more information on it. It really is unfortunate. Yeah. But, uh, just gotta say one thing. Gentlemen, it doesn't matter if your girl is 32 pounds soaking wet or 500 pounds standing on two feet. If she's yours, and you dig her, she's your pretty little thing.